Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to check out the Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary All-Stars. That is now on the Switch SNES Online. So, if you didn't know, you can play Super Nintendo and NES games on your Nintendo Switch. They just updated it today. Shadow dropped Mario All-Stars. So you can see original Japanese release of the Mario Brothers game was 1985, September 13th. Beginning a journey the world is still enjoying today, 35 plus years later. To mark the occasion, we're making All Stars game available. Hope you enjoy playing Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers Lost Levels, Mario Brothers 2, Mario 3, all with improved audio and visuals from their original NES and Famicom version. So, we're going to check this out. So, boom, that's the most satisfying thing in the world is those panels being revealed. And it's been a while since we had a new Super Nintendo game. I think like a couple months. But look at this. Hmm. I remember picking this up for the first time when it first came out. I was in third freaking grade. So many memories. I love that title screen. All right, so here we go. We're start off. Just in case you have not played, Mario All-Stars has Mario 1, Lost Levels, which never came out in the U.S., Mario 2, Mario 3. Now, of course updated graphics and you can save so i think lost levels does world in level so like 8-2 or 6-3 the rest just stay by world um but not too shabby you i like i love the way the 16-bit versions of these games look by the way i, I definitely dig the 16-bit version of mario 1 classic game to this day and then the music's even changed but yeah it was i thought it was neat you know it was a long time coming that nintendo was to put this on the switch online service um i'm actually surprised they didn't just decide to to bundle it on the collection that's coming out in september uh but yeah the mario 35th anniversary collection is now out so here we go we can suspend the menu we can reset the game, go back to the main menu, and let's choose Lost Levels in case you haven't played it. Uh, Famicom only. I think I have it. It's a Famicom Disk System game. I have it. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just like Mario 1, just a little bit more harder. They also introduce poisonous mushrooms. And stuff like that. So you'll see like right here is a poisonous mushroom. Don't touch it. It will harm you. It will harm little Mario. Um, and there's some things about this game that are a little bit different. Uh, why they didn't release this in the United States. I think it's because they felt it was maybe a little too hard. I think uh, Howard Phillips had something to say with that. <laughs> Since he was like the spokesperson for Nintendo of America at the time. I think he might have told them, hey, I think the game is a little too difficult. Nah, so they did the whole Doki Doki Panic thing that, <laughs> that we've long talked about. So let's reset again. I'm just showing you guys the first stage of each game just so you guys can get yeah, I'm sure, I already know, thousands of you guys have played this already. Uh, I, if I will say, I do appreciate Mario Brothers 2 a lot more <laughs> now as an adult than when I was a kid. Uh, and I, uh, for some reason, I just absolutely love this version of Mario 2, by the way. I love the 16-bit upgrade that they gave for it. Um, I think it looks awesome. Like, look at, look at the princess, the sprite, look at the characters, the shy guys. Um, I think, I think this version of Mario 2 is probably the best one besides the GBA version. And this one, of course, is a little bit different. Because it originally was not a Mario game. We all know that story. I always screw up. I always forget which which thing is the uh, the actual root. Or the, uh, the potion, I should say. I always screw it up. And I do the princess, of course. She's a, a total babe. I think there's another one up here somewhere. One up in the cup. And uh, I like to do my little shortcuts. 
as you'll see in a minute. I go ahead and just fly across up here instead of going inside that building. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. I love the music. And you know, funny enough, this game inspired so many other Mario titles in the future. Like Shy Guys. They're in every single game going forward. And the Sniffits and other creatures came from this that weren't in previous Mario games. Sometimes it's... Come on, grab it. <laughs> she floats everywhere. Uh, also, Birdo. Another iconic... Mario character. There we go. So it's pretty neat. You know, you get all four of the games. Upgraded versions. For you to enjoy and play on your Switch now. And of course, since they are multiplayer, that means you could play two-player on these. So that's even better. Now, of course, you, you have the first three Marios um, on the... Uh, the NES section, but it's neat to have the 16-bit versions of them. Although it was, I mean, Nintendo should. I'm glad they did the right thing by releasing this. It was a, it was a long wait, having to wait for Nintendo to confirm anything for the Mario anniversary. And this also has the Mario Brothers Battle game as well. So I guess multiple games in one. Also, another version of the game that I like the 16-bit graphics. Look at that map. Look at the detail. Let's look at the background. Look at that. You know, at the time, it was pretty cool that Nintendo did this. Like, they, they made updated versions of these classic games when they when they did not have to, actually. Uh, they just got fresh off of Mario World, like, what, two years before? Um, and then Yoshi's Island and Yoshi Safari and couple other games it was it was a pretty pleasant surprise at the time when it came out for nintendo to just be like yo here's uh here's all these here's four classic mario games and updated graphics they could have just easily just kept them as the 8-bit versions but you know they went ahead threw everything together made a nice comp and this is back in the day when compilations and stuff weren't as common so in my opinion, Super Mario All-Stars is a pretty big deal. But yeah, this is just, you know, quick little run-through of the game. Not bad. I, I wish it was the version that had Mario World included, but Mario World's already in the Super Nintendo Online section. So, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to go ahead and check the game out with you guys. Enjoy, download, update your Super Nintendo section. Enjoy the game. And yeah, comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.